something at home. Yes. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever enjoyed something so much that you become obsessed? To the point where if you have a grip on you, am I just like you too much? My mom might say I'm too fixated on what I wear on the outside, like hat sleeves or even Crocs. But she's not too strict with my music choice on giving me even fictional characters, preferably black fictional characters. All the things you kind of can't see above me to find who I am. First things first, I introduce you to my ex. When I was in high school, I started getting into ex. Cats are something I wear when I don't feel like using hair products or I just want to pop out an outfit. I like cats because they come in a variety of colors and styles. You can even rock them forward or backwards, and I would prefer a nice black hat or a color I normally would wear. A shop I get my hats from is called Lids. Lids has fitted baseball caps, a specific hero, or even rap artists, name, logo design, etc. My hats reflect my style and my many different personalities. My closet is also full of hoodies. My mom says I have way too many, but I can have more. Hoodies are another one of my friends because they help me feel secure. Sometimes I don't like how my body is shaped, so I hide my hoodie. One key element about hoodies for me is the quality and the design. I don't like my hoodies too thick or thick enough to warm me up when it's cold. Another thing that I look at is the design. A nice simple phrase, logo, and a type of print. My lazy yet personalized shoe choice, Crocs. Crocs are my go-to shoe because I'm too lazy to lace up my shoes. <laughs> so I slide my feet into my Crocs because they're easy to put on. And I didn't always like Crocs. I didn't understand the point of wearing them, but later on I got some for my stepmother at the time and they were wood. And they have grown on me since then. I'm addicted to them now. At least, I have at least three or four pairs in my room, and it's really bad. But enough about the outside appearance. Let's move on to the aspects of me you cannot see, such as my music choice. Tyler, the creator, is first on the list. I like his beats, his mix, and delivery. Another thing is his style. The way he dresses really sparks my interest because he isn't afraid to pop out the color. MF Doom is saying with Tyler that beats and delivery are nice to me. MF Doom has calm instrumentals and his way delivery goes well in addition to a calm game that went on the set. The Wu Tang Clan in 1992 did present rap for you, keep it real. Their song, Cream, Cash, was everything around me as my ghost because it's catching and tells a story. It tells a real story and you have to listen to what it's understand. According to songsfacts.com, the lyrics can from us as the listeners, but Method Man, Rayquan, and Inspector Deck went through while being a part of the Wu Tang Clan. The song depicts their survival of growing up in the songs that went enjoyed on the streets. Black fictional characters inspire me and make me feel represented as a black teen. They make me feel seen because there aren't many black fictional characters for kids younger than me to watch. Black Panther, Princess Tiana, Miles Morales, Blade, Luke Cage, Number Five, Subway, etc. The list goes on. Those are the characters that remind me anything is possible. Seeing Black African Americans in films inspired me. Everything I've written down is stuff I like. These things make me calm. They interest me. I don't care if others don't like my interests because it's not for them to like. These are the things I enjoy. These things are meaningful to me because they are about me. The things I'm so called obsessed with affect me positively. They show an indication of how I really am. These are my six pieces away from everything. These are the things I do. Whoa. Yeah. Good job, Jay. Last but not least, Javante's second piece. Yeah. Faces. 
as we looked around the ground floor of basketball, it was me who discovered an old abandoned ball that had no bounce. As I lifted the basketball up, rubbing the dirt off, to my surprise, it came to life and it got some bounce. As I entered the court with it in hand, bouncing on the concrete, the ball came to life, so we were able to play a full game. Miss Debbie was able to, <laughs> to score two points. <laughs> perfect, uh, hopeless, and it all seemed just a little tender and love and care. It non-living ball made it perfect for us to play a game of basketball. I was like a diamond in the rough, which is a old saying. We see things every day that are imperfect, but are perfect when given a chance. Mm, thank you. Wow. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay. Um, awards. Yes, awards. Okay.